physical properties of metals and non metals hello everyone how are you all wait i am showing you something can you identify this hmm? you must have seen this thing in your homes yes it is an aluminium foil it is used to wrap uh, mostly eatables it is made of a metal called aluminium metals are malleable they can be beaten into sheets now identify this this is a wire now look at the ends of the wires these are open ends uh if electricity is flowing through the wire and accidentally you touch the ends these are open ends if accidentally you touch the ends what will happen yes you may get electric shock so what is this material which is covering the wire it is a kind of plastic or polymer why do you get shock if you touch the open wire and why it is covered with this material yes because this is copper which is a metal metals are good conductors of electricity and this is plastic which is a non metal and non metals are bad conductors of electricity Ooh, very hot look at this this is a utensil with handle if you are heating this utensil and you touch this part what will happen yes you will get hurt you may burn your fingers why because this is metal which is a good conductor of heat and it is a polymer plastic is a polymer which is made of non metals metals are good conductor of heat and non metals are bad conductors of heat that's why this handle is given it will not heat up now copper is used to make wires because metals are ductile they can be used for making wires they can be stretched into wires without breakage can you hear the sound ringing sound these are some coins they are making resonant or ringing sound so metals are used to make bells because they are sonorous now hear this sound is it ringing no this is coal which is a non metal non metals are not sonorous see this an iron nail if you beat this nail what will happen if you strongly beat this nail it may change its shape and what happens to this coal if you beat this coal it may break into pieces but this iron nail will not break why because metals are hard in my hands see this coal is it shiny no see the ring on my finger it is shining now look at this material it is shining so metals are lustrous they shine but non metals do not shine so we have learned many properties of metals today can you repeat let's revise metals are malleable they can be beaten into sheets 
metals are lustrous they shine metals are ductile they can be drawn into wires metals are sonorous they produce ringing sound metals are hard it is not easy to break them metals are good conductors of heat metals are good conductors of electricity as well so to summarize metals are hard lustrous malleable ductile sonorous and good conductors of heat and electricity the examples of metals are iron copper aluminum etc these are the most commonly used metals we see in our daily life while non metals are soft dull non sonorous and are poor conductors of heat and electricity examples are sulfur carbon oxygen etc you are familiar with the fact that metals are good conductors of electricity while non metals are poor conductors of heat and electricity so can you solve this let me help you iron rod or iron nail is a good conductor of electricity because iron is a metal sulfur and coal are non metals so they are poor conductors of heat and electricity now let us see the copper wire you must have seen the copper wires in your homes as copper is a metal it is a good conductor of electricity that's why it is used to make wires you have read the properties of metals and non metals now look at the electric tester or the circuit you will find a battery three wires one iron nail and one bulb all the things are attached in a sequence the bulb will glow as electricity is flowing through the circuit this is because metals are good conductors of electricity and iron is a metal now test your knowledge look at the three circuits you have to choose the circuit or circuits in which electricity will flow you will find the answers in the next video explaining chemical properties of metals and non metals and their uses video link is given on the end screen and in the description box below if you wish to join scholar book a free 3 day trial session subscribe the channel and press the bell if you want to watch more these types of videos stay tuned bye bye